This is a grammatical sentence formation course being taught by M. Kadrivali Chunai. Dear friends, are you ready? Today, we are going to see Fluency in English, part 120. You just note down the heading, Fluency in English, part 120. Fluency in English, part 120. Fluency means what, you may ask me. Fluency is nothing but the quality of being able to speak English fluently without any hesitation. That means what? When you think you have to speak, when you think you have to speak, that is called fluency. I am here. I will train you in a systematic way to get fluency in English without any grammatical errors. Only thing is, you have to listen with the concentration. That is very, very important. That is the key to improve your communication in English. The main heading is, Fluency in English, under which we see various usages. In that order, now we are going to see the usage of was able to and were able to plus root verb. Already we have started. Okay. What meaning you will get? Mudindadu, mudindada. Understand? Question arunda, mudindada. It is meant for only past tense that you are aware of it. The quality of this usage is Ability plus action. Ability plus action. Then you may ask me, what about could, sir? That is only ability. Understand? I will raise as many questions as possible using was able to and were able to in the following pattern. I will take Tamil meaning for the first sentence. After that, you can understand. Shall we start? Okay. Mr. Ganesh, was your younger doctor able to sing well in the super singer competition held at Vijay TV last Saturday, even though she was unwell, was your younger doctor able to sing well in the super singer competition held at Vijay TV last Saturday, even though she was unwell? Would a younger doctor, would he have been able to sing well last Saturday, Vijay TV in the Super singer competition, Avadala Nandraga Pada Mudindada. This is the meaning for this usage. Understand? Yes, she was able to sing well in the super singer competition held at Vijay TV last Saturday, even though she was unwell. Yes, she was able to sing well in the super singer competition held at Vijay TV last Saturday, even though she was unwell. Yes, our Mudiyamadi Yandha Podhulum Kooda, last Saturday, Vijay TV Nadanda Super Singer Competition, Avalal Nandraha Pada Mudindadu. This is the translation. Understand? Here after you can understand. Shall I repeat them? Okay. Mr. Ganesh, was your younger doctor Able to sing well in the super singer competition held at Vijay TV last Saturday, even though she was unwell? Yes, she was able to sing well in the super singer competition held at Vijay TV last Saturday, even though she was unwell. Mr. Siva, was your colleague, Mrs. Veena, able to attend the meeting? Held after 6 o'clock last evening, was your colleague, Mrs. Veena, able to attend the meeting held after 6 o'clock last evening? No, she was not able to attend the meeting held after 6 o'clock last evening as her husband didn't allow her to attend the meeting after office hours. No. She was not able to attend the meeting held after 6 o'clock last evening as her husband didn't allow her to attend the meeting after office hours. Mr. Santosh, was your brother able to play well in the cricket match held at Chidambaram Stadium last Sunday? Was your brother able to play 
Well, in the cricket match held at Chidambara Stadium last Sunday, no, he was not able to play well in the cricket match held at Chidambaram Stadium last Sunday as he was unwell before the match. No, he was not able to play well in the cricket match held at Chidambaram Stadium last Sunday as he was unwell before the match. Mr. Hari, was your younger brother able to participate in the sports competition held at Nehru Stadium last week? Was your younger brother able to participate in the sports competition held at Nehru Stadium last week? No, he was not able to participate in the sports competition held at Nehru Stadium last week as he was not selected by his school to participate. No, he was not able to participate in the sports competition held at Nehru Stadium last week as he was not selected by his school to participate. Mr. Prabhu, were you able to build your house at Taramani last year without avoiding a housing loan from your bank? Were you able to build your house at Taramani last year without avoiding a housing loan from your bank? Yes, we were able to build our house at Taramani last year without avoiding a housing loan from your bank as we had sold our plot located near Vandalur for rupees 50 lakhs. Yes, we were able to build our house at Taramani last year without availing a housing loan from a bank as we had sold our plot located near Vandalur for rupees 50 lakhs. Mr. Prakash, was your father able to lend rupees 5 lakhs to your uncle last month for his daughter's marriage held last week? Was your father able to lend rupees 5 lakhs to your uncle last month for his daughter's marriage held last week? No, he was not able to lend rupees 5 lakhs to my uncle last month for his daughter's marriage held last week as we had spent all our money towards the construction of our house last year. No, he was not able to lend rupees 5 lakhs to my uncle last month for his daughter's marriage held last week as we had spent all our money towards the construction of our house last year. Mr. Prasad, were they able to service your car within two days to go to Coimbatore last week? Were they able to service your car within two days to go to Coimbatore last week? Yes, they were able to service my car within two days to go to Coimbatore last week. Yes, they were able to service my car within two days to go to Coimbatore last week. Mr. Chatru, was your son able to do his homework before he went to school this morning? Was your son able to do his homework before he went to school this morning? No, he was not able to do his homework before he went to school this morning, but he requested his class teacher to permit him to submit his homework tomorrow morning. No, he was not able to do his homework before he went to school this morning, but he requested his class teacher to permit him to submit his homework 
tomorrow morning. Mr. Mani, were you able to build your house at Madipakkam within 50 lakhs last year? Were you able to build your house at Madipakkam within 50 lakhs last year? Yes, we were able to build our house at Madipakkam within 50 lakhs. Yes, we were able to build our house at Madipakkam within 50 lakhs. Mr. Sami, were you able to complete the work within two days before you went on leave last week? Were you able to complete the work within two days before you went on leave last week? Yes, I was able to complete the work within two days before I went on leave last week. Yes, I was able to complete the work within two days before I went on leave last week. Mr. Murugan, was the contractor able to execute the job before the convocation started? Was the contractor able to execute the job before the convocation started? Yes, he was able to execute the job before the convocation started. Yes, he was able to execute the job before the convocation started. Mr. Ramu, were they able to carry out the work before the rainy season started? Were they able to carry out the work before the rainy season started? No, they were not able to carry out the work before the rainy season started. As the contractor advised them that it would be better if it was started after the rainy season. No, they were not able to carry out the work before the rainy season started as the contractor advised them that it would be better if it was started after the rainy season. Mr. Siva, were they able to remove all the unwanted materials from that site before they started the construction day? Were they able to remove all the unwanted materials from that site before they started the construction day? Yes, they were able to remove all the unwanted materials from that site before they started the construction day. Yes, they were able to remove all the unwanted materials from that site before they started the construction day. Mr. Ravi, were you able to instruct all your subordinates to follow the rules very strictly without any partiality? Were you able to instruct all your subordinates to follow the rules very strictly without any partiality? Yes, I was able to instruct all my subordinates to follow the rules very strictly without any partiality. Yes, I was able to instruct all my subordinates to follow the rules very strictly without any partiality. Mr. Kamal, was your uncle able to teach finance for MBA students till the date of their examination held last month? Was your uncle able to teach finance for MBA students till the date of their examination held last month? Yes, he was able to teach finance for MBA students till the date of their examination held last month. Yes, he was able to teach finance for MBA students till the date of their examination held last month. Is it clear? Are you able to understand? Did you listen with the concentration? You see here, today is the last class. From tomorrow onwards, I am going to take. We'll be able to plus root the verb. Wait for tomorrow. Okay? Let me finish 
up to this level. Thank you very much for having attended this class continuously. If you like this course, if you are interested in attending this class, if it creates any positive vibration in your mind, please share with your friends and others. It will definitely, certainly and surely make my dreams realized. I will meet you this time tomorrow. Until then, goodbye. Yam Kadrivedu. Thank you.